Hey Geminis, welcome back. So here we are with a general message for your sign. This may or it may not resonate with every single one of you watching. Again, it's general. All right, guys. So just, you know, take it if it fits. If it doesn't, then maybe it's just not for you. All right. But anyway, we're going to talk about your oracle messages first, then we'll get into the actual reading. And then we'll also talk about some of your advice messages from spirit at the end. Okay. So coming out first here, we have worth waiting for. And it says divine timing is at work in your love life okay so somebody might be waiting on something could be communication possibly all right now next we also have passion and it says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy whoever you're connecting with here there is a lot of passion and attraction between the two of you okay um next we also have express your love and it says go ahead and make the romantic gesture so let's start with your energy first gemini you guys have the knight of pentacles and the king of pentacles here some of you this has to do with money or finances but um if it is about love i feel like you guys want to go towards this person but you're kind of taking your time here okay you want something that's solid and uh stable with the two of you but you may be um being a little bit cautious about approaching them or just this situation itself okay because the knight of pentacles moves very very slowly all right so you're taking your time I don't feel you trying to really rush towards this person right now, all right? Now, they have the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So yeah, they're trying to make up their mind about something or they're just a little unsure is what I feel because they're waiting on something here, waiting to hear from you or, you know, this is them just still wanting to invest in the connection, but they may not know how you feel is also what I'm seeing or they could be debating like whether they should stay or go here with the um two of wands okay i also feel like this person is thinking a lot about their finances too and planning um for their future or goals or whatever they're up to all right now um you guys also have the six of swords and the uh ten of pentacles here some of you this has to do again with money or finances maybe a marriage or a long-term commitment is involved here or that's uh, possibly what some of you want others of you you're moving on here from something okay Maybe you just want to focus on work and your money and maybe not this person if this is about love, okay, because this is about leaving something behind or leaving it alone, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, whoever this is over here, they've got the Ten of Swords and the Four of Cups. So the Ten of Swords represents endings, okay, and something that was very painful, all right? Maybe there was betrayal here, backstabbing or you know, some sort of deception, but I feel like this person is, um, you know, they're kind of devastated about whatever's happened here a little bit. All right. And they could feel rejected here with the four of cups or either you, um, or maybe they rejected you. I'm not sure. Okay. But they feel like this situation might be a uh, missed opportunity. Okay. Now you guys also have the magician and the ace of swords. So this is very powerful energy here. Okay. You guys, um, I'm seeing you trying to look at things from a very logical perspective with that Ace of Swords. And then with the Magician being here, you've got the answer that you're looking for. Okay, Gemini, whatever this is about, you've got what it takes to create whatever it is that you want, whether it's with this person or something else here. Because again, the Magician is a very powerful energy or someone who's um, very skilled or talented, creative and confident. Okay, so you um you've got you got the answer here whatever this is about all right with that ace of swords it's also is about communication some of you want to talk to them or you want to speak your truth or maybe you want the truth from them about something okay now they also have the six of wands and the three of wands yeah some of you i'm gonna be straight up this person is all about self here okay with that uh six of wands energy to me that's someone who could be kind of self-absorbed but it's also someone who wants a victory or something to be successful okay so some of you they do want a um successful connection with you okay and they might be waiting as well even though they feel rejected or they rejected you with the three of wands this is them waiting around okay and that was the first card that came out here okay up there at the top so some of you they may be at a distance from you maybe they're in a different city state country or whatever the case is but i feel like they miss you okay um, to me as a reader, the Three of Wands can kind of carry a uh, nostalgic or yearning, um, longing type of uh, vibration. So that might be the case here. All right, for some. Now, next, we also have the Page of Wands and the Nine of Cups for you. So, yeah, um, with the Page of Wands, this is about communication. Okay, some of you do want to talk to them. It would make you very happy to hear from this person. With the Nine of Cups, this is wish fulfillment. This is someone getting what they want. Okay, some of you are actually still in contact with them currently. All right, but 
for the most part, I think your guys' energy is pretty good, solid, stable, okay? And again, I, you know, mentioned that you guys have the answer. You can see things for what they really are, or you really just want to be in the energy of truth, okay? No illusions, all right? No confusion here with that Ace of Swords. Now, they also have the lovers here, okay? And the Queen of Wands. This is your card. Some of you might be dealing with another Gemini. They feel a very strong, passionate connection with you, though, and that's probably why the Passion card came out earlier, but... Yeah, I see a lot of lustful sexual energy here too, okay guys? But um, some of you, again, you may not even be in contact with this person, but I feel like there is still some sort of energetic or magnetic pull towards this connection, okay, that they feel. Now, um, actually, I think both of you feel it. So let's talk about where things could be headed here soon. We've got the Six of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, Six of Wands came out twice. Somebody wants to take action towards this, but... There's some sort of fear here with the moon card. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. Something's being hidden. Maybe someone's not telling, um, you know, the truth or there's secrets involved here. Um, and then with the nine of pentacles, this is about independence or somebody being on their own, single, free. Okay, somebody in a, in a uh, committed relationship secretly wants to be single or have their freedom here is what I see for somebody. But I also see somebody really trying to focus on healing over something or about something with the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So this is being happy here, all right, guys? There may be a new opportunity coming in for some of you. Could be a new person, okay? A whole totally different person than whoever this is, okay? An ex or whatever, but, um, or this is someone still wanting to renew this uh, current situation, okay? Now we also have the Seven of Wands and the Five of Cups. Yeah, somebody's feeling like this isn't going to work out, okay? Feeling let down here. Somebody's too defensive with the Seven of Wands, but this could also be someone still wanting to fight for this connection, okay? But there is the energy of loss or regret, sadness, disappointment here as well, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's talk about your advice messages from Spirit. They might pertain to this situation, guys, or it could be about something else. Just take it how it fits for you, Okay. So coming out first here, we have transformation. It says, you use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. Yep, I just talked about that. Okay, cutting through um, illusions and seeing things for what they are. And this also represents change. Okay, again, transformation about something. Okay, now next we also have detachment. And it says, you are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love, okay? So yeah, somebody could be, again, detaching. So we had the Six of Swords come out. This is about leaving something behind, okay? Now we also have patience and it says, you are able to let the universe, sorry, you are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm, okay? So this is Spirit saying some of you need to be patient about what exactly, I'm not sure, could be waiting on communication from this person or just taking something really slowly here, like I mentioned before with the Knight of Pentacles, all right, guys, or this has to do with um, money. Some of you could be waiting on um, some information or communication about finances here. So that's what came out, Geminis. If this resonated, feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'll see you next week. Take care.